All right. Hey, Chipola sports fans. We are here with Greg Franklin, women's basketball coach at Chipola College. How you doing? I'm good, Dr. Frank. Very good. All right. Well, coach, it is uh, September. September's almost drawing to a close. So where are we in the process of getting ready for our opening game here at Chipola? We're doing a lot of conditioning, strength and, tr strength and conditioning. Um, our kids have really, really uh, worked extremely hard. Mm -hmm. Through July and now, um, you know, they get a lot stronger, in better shape. Um, you know, we're doing individuals, mm -hmm. uh, more of a skill development type thing right now. Uh, team stuff will come here pretty soon, but you know, here in three weeks, we're going to be playing. Yeah, uh, we go the twelfth over at Tallahassee, the thirteenth over at Gulf Coast, and the nineteenth we play up in Atlanta. Okay, Th that's uh, the twelfth of October. 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 Wow. Yeah. Okay. So. It's it's creeping up on us pretty yeah. quickly. Everybody says I'm ready for basketball. Basketball is ready to be it's, here. It's yeah. coming. It's coming. Um, how many how many players you got on the team right now? 13, 14. Okay. Um, we still have a couple of kids get here for term C. All right. Um, you know, right now we got eleven here, uh, and they're working extremely hard. Like I said, I couldn't ask any more for them. From uh -huh. them. Um, but right now we're trying to figure out who's going to be where and who can do what. Right. I'm pretty lucky I've got some talented cats on the team. So. Uh -huh. um, a lot of kids that can play a lot of different positions, uh -huh. unlike years before. I mean, I've got several that can play one through three, one through four. Um, and, and with the maturing and, and getting in better shape of Ariel Cummings, uh, she, could be, she could be very good for us. Yeah, this year. that's very great. Good. How important is preseason conditioning at this point? Uh, you know, looking at, you know, hopefully we're going to be playing on into, into very late March. But how important is it to get in shape right now? What we're doing right now is very, very important. Um, you can see it play, but you can't get to it because you're too tired. Right. That's me in my life uh -huh. right now. Yeah, but you mean that. <laughs> I see it, but I can't uh, yeah, get to right, it. Yeah, right, right. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's very important. You know, people say this all the time. You can be a good player or a great player. Uh -huh. Good players get fatigued. And the great players, when the good players get fatigued, they get great. Oh, wow. I That's like that. That's the difference. That's yeah. the difference. And we preach that to our kids all the time, but they don't know it until they start seeing it. Uh -huh. You know, they walk, in the, walk into the weight room, they're going, Coach, I just don't want all these muscles up here. Right, you know? right. And about three weeks later, over in the, over the yeah. mirror. Checking right it here. out. Yeah. yeah. And also, that gets them to the place where they can make better plays. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, they don't realize how much better they can get with just the strength and conditioning and skill development. That you know, three or four weeks in, they're going, "Wow, I can take a couple steps back. Yes, yeah. take this three point, right? You know, because I got I'm strong enough to do it now, right? Uh, but that's that 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 is very very important for us to go forward, yeah, to know when we can get to that point, right? Exactly, exactly. Um, well, coach, how about um, how about the the league? Have you seen anything from the Panhandle Conference? I know, of course, it's it, it's going to be incredible. Um, we'll start off with uh, every team in the top twenty, yeah. Um, We'll end up with probably four in the top 15. Mm -hmm. It just depends. I mean, I, I've heard that Pensacola is a lot better this year. Uh, I know Gulf Coast has gotten better. Uh, Tallahassee uh, has a new coach, so I don't know what to expect there. Uh -huh. And then Northwest, obviously, they're going to be good again, too. So, right. Uh, just from our, our practice day from last week and hearing people talk that, you know, I, I hear that it's very stout. Yeah, okay. Um, also, you met, you mentioned Northwest. Uh, Northwest won the bid to host men's and women's, right, mm -hmm. uh, state tournament uh, next year yeah. or in, in 2020. So how important is that uh, to be able to play? I mean, obviously, we'd rather be playing in the milt, but mm -hmm. if we can't play in the milt, uh, to – we will probably. Are we going to stay if if we make the state tournament? If we're that if we're that fortunate, would we sleep in our beds and, and oh, yeah. just run over there? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's nothing better than that. Yeah. I mean, you travel over an hour, ten minutes, and come back. Right. Um, hopefully, we'll be there. Uh huh. But this conference, I mean, <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's it's kind of like you compare it to the old Big East uh -huh. men's basketball. Right. I mean, it's just a, a battle every night. Yeah. A knuckle fest. Right if you want to say that, but uh, I was very pleased with our team last year. Uh -huh. I thought they did a tremendous job. You know, we we lost, I think it was four ball games by one or two points and came down to a charge or block call. Right. And then we had one game when we played Tallahassee where our big kid didn't play, mm -hmm. um, blessing, and we, you know, we, we probably 
should have had that one. Yeah. Uh, but just one game out of first place, and then in the last five national champions come out of this league. So I know. And then we beat Gulf Coast on Gulf Coast floor the last game of the year, and I thought we were playing some of the best basketball out of anybody, any team I've ever had uh-huh. at that point in time. Uh, but it just goes to show I, you. It, it sort of it reminds me of SEC football. You know, you can some, some <laughs> you can be the you can be in the top four teams in the country and not even make the SEC championship game. What I enjoy though is when I worked at Mississippi State, they would come in and say, "Man, we got the number eleven ranked recruiting class." Uh huh. Well, okay, well. <laughs> you had LSU had the number right, two. Right. Or, uh, Alabama, Alabama had the number, number one. one. So, I mean, it's, you look at it like, okay, well, coach them up. Yeah. Coach exactly. them up, buddy. Exactly. Well, um, well, Coach, we're we're excited about uh, another season, and um, we're um, we're looking forward to uh, you putting another great product on the floor, and uh, y- y'all y'all do things right, and and we appreciate that. We we like to see your girls on the floor and we also like to see them on campus and in the community they're uh, they're doing really good thing, things and we're proud of them proud of you i think this group right here people will be really proud of them off the court and that translates into them really wanting to watch them on the court right you know you don't want a lot of dregs out there that's yeah, not exactly. going to represent your school right, right. and chipola's top-notch institution yeah they deserve to have a top-notch type of person to represent them right and that's what we we preach that all the time yeah you know people are watching Right. They're going to know you way before you know them. Exactly. Trust me. Well, I'll never forget when you won the national championship and we, you were, I think you came back on a Sunday night or something. Mm-hmm. And, right. um, and, you know, the president wanted to, uh, to have a, a welcome home party. And I said, man, Sunday night, I don't, I don't, I just don't think anybody's going to show up. And <laughs> I mean, there must have been a couple hundred people there oh, yeah. just, just That's going good. crazy. So, uh, uh, y'all are doing things right, and, and y'all have really uh, made a name for yourselves in this community. I appreciate, appreciate it, sir. All right. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you, big guy. See you later.